Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the Forsaken Lands SMP. I, I messed it up and said Night Blazes at first, but uh, I am joined with Adorable Hoe and Jarden once again. And you know how I said that uh, I can't promise that we'll be killing the Wither in the third episode? Well, I lied. We're killing the Wither now. Um, you two can say hi if you wish, because obviously they're going to be assisting me, but we do have... Bonjour, comrade. Stuff Hello, going on. friend. We are going to be killing two, with, uh, two Withers. Which I don't know if this will be the entire episode or not. I guess we'll just have to see how time goes. Because usually my episodes are kind of longer on this. But, uh, guess where we are? <laughs> Let me just go up on the surface just for reference point. I'm sure most people watching this already know anyway. But, uh, she does not know we're doing this. So this is going to make it funnier. But, uh, we're fighting the Withers in Dasha's mind. But, and by the time she finds out, there's nothing she can do about it. So that'll be kind of funny. Although she could prank us. That's something she theoretically could do. But, uh... We're not going to be do it. We can't do it out in the open here. We're going to have to go down one of those tunnels, which we I think we opted to go down this tunnel here, uh, which is far away from everything else, and there's other shit going on here, so uh, shouldn't be that bad. We're mining out this area right now, so I will clip to when I we actually start fighting the first one because we're I think I already said we're fighting two. Yo, Jordan. <laughs> This is perfect, uh, with her fighting a tire, if I must say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that'll, that'll definitely distract it, that's for sure. Mm. I need to see if I... Alright, no, we're going to commence on. the wither smacking now, if you will. Uh, I better not fuck this up, especially with the skulls, because it's going to be problematic if I do, because we have tile drops off for the purpose of, because it'll lag our games if we don't. Okay. Oh, I almost misplaced it there. Jesus Christ. I don't think the orientation uh -oh. actually matters, but... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. Is this Wither Saga Here Part 2? I guess we'll never know. It's time to explode this bitch. Oh, shit. Right it's the oh, I accidentally and shot I'm someone. Oh, oh I'm shit. I... Shot. Fucking hell, oh, hurt. Come on. Okay, I got... Oh, it fucking got me. Which I don't... Actually, I'll drink the milk, because I don't have any potion effects on me right now. Oh, thanks for whoever healed me. Oh, he got me again. I'm healing the comrades. <laughs> okay, the first phase isn't that bad, but when it goes into its other phase, it's when it's going to do some bad shit. I can't see where it is. I'm already almost dead, stupid wither effect. Yeah, yeah. I have... This is why regeneration's kind of crucial. Oh, someone just yep. popped their totem. That was mine. I used my last healing, and it was just a cruddy healing I got from a witch. And I can't even see where the wither is, because I don't have night vision. Alright. No one can say, Stop oh, there it is. Stop around, you cocksucker. Oh, and it got oh, me. Sh see, this milk's actually Shit. coming to use... Oh, I'm actually gonna might die. This milk's actually coming. It's gone in very juice. bad for me. I've just been constantly drinking fucking. Oh, potions. I I'm saved getting myself. PTSD. I, I saved myself PTSD. with the milk it's with half the a heart. It's like behind a wall for me now. It's camping. Stop <laughs> yeah. fucking camping. Uh, no oh, why is it camping? I remember that from your first video. All right, I'm, I'm not just, oh, in the. Oh, I'm fucking toast. Oh. Yeah, there goes my first out of four totems. <laughs> no, not the weather sucker again. We, we don't I've got regeneration too, and I'm still nearly dead. Yeah, we're, we're on hard mode too, at least on night blazers, it was on normal, I think. So this is an extra challenge. Mm. I see, I wonder how much intense this is going to take us. Four uh, years later. Yeah, and I hope not. I, we almost have oh, it down to it. Oh, fuck. I'm just, I haven't phase. been hit by it for ages, and it took, it, like, over, I stored the fucking wither effect for so long. Oh, that's uh, bullshit. Let me I'm actually look how long the wither, the wither effect lasts like 30 seconds. I know, it's bullshit, you can't escape it. Come here, motherfucker. You can't yeah, get close to it it's about to, to blow either. my other totem. Oh, okay. I can't heal fast enough. I, had, right. I was drinking regeneration too, and golden apples constantly, and I still had to use a totem. 
That's how OP it is. Okay, it's something with a skeletons in now as well. I'm here, motherfucker. God. Do the drugs. Do the drugs. It's the only way. I'm coming, I'm Jake. Die, but I'm doing a lot of damage. I, I got some good hits. I got some fucking good damage. <laughs> I got oh, it. No, Jake, no! I, I killed it. I killed it. I was trying I to kill him. I got my with revenge. <laughs> I got my revenge. Oh shit! I think it blew up a lot of his stuff too. Oh no! Damn. So we might have to, see, we might have to revert just because that sword that Jeff Jordan no, gave me. No, I got the sword. Gone. I did pick up the sword. Oh, so one thing I didn't was. get the okay, sword. Good. We can give you diamond stuff. Oh, there's diamonds here, even. Oh no, it's can't, yeah, there's diamonds. We can't mine them. We can't though, mine them. I did. I did actually like pretty good that time because I wasn't lagging like crap. I actually did so much damage. Yeah. Uh, we it's definitely like need more potions if we're gonna do this again. Uh, oh yeah, I actually I I, I personally need, like, don't. Actually, I might need to get more best, milk, but that's about the it. The best potion, the best potion to have for sure, is like lingering. Uh, here's your nether star, by the way, Jake. Ooh, thank you. The best potion I think is lingering oh, did... healing. It yeah, just, definitely. It'll it'll heal you to full health right away. I think I think I got all of Ho's more important stuff. I got his armor and I got his bow. I think. Oh, I think true. We can make lingering healing because of fucking. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forget we have dragon sprays now. But then, but then again, actually, the armor's about to break anyway, so I don't know how much. Yeah, yeah that was like disposable armor, pretty much. Oh, I will grab your bow though, because that might be something you want. Yeah, it was an okay bow. Didn't even have power on it. During the bow phase, I thought I was going to do most of the damage during the bow phase, but... Uh... Do you still have my sword, Jake? Um, yeah, I do. You can lean that back to Ho if you want as well. Alright, well uh, that was the first wither I will clip when we kill the second one. Alright, we're going to do round two. Of round two of the wither, the second wither we're going to kill yet, which I am not 100% sure which both wither stars are going to go towards yet, for as far as beacons are concerned. But we have a lovely sight going on here with a female Jarden. Pumping the top Hello. of the wither. <laughs> no, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna summon this bitch now. Okay. Uh, oh shit! Hugging the wither, hugging the wither. <laughs> this time oh. we actually have a lot more room to like. Yeah, definitely. Run. Uh, I hope it doesn't break Can't those diamonds that are over there. Ow! Why are you so rude with her, you bitch? I almost shot you. Sometimes. Oh, I shot Wizzy Boy. I haven't oh, hit it fuck. once yet, I don't think. I've hit it once, I think. I think I've hit it. Okay, that time I hit it. Oh, what the it's hell? It's over see. here now. What? Yep. Oh, shit. Well, this guy's. I think he's fo he's focused on me right now. Triggers. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm actually gonna die. Oh, gravel though. Did I you haven't even been hit by him yet. I'm so good. <laughs> I've been hit multiple times and nearly died as well, Jake. He doesn't give a shit about her. I think he's. I think if he like if it targets on a specific person, then that's not usually a good thing. Oh. I ah! <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh, he's behind you guys. Oh, yeah. Ow, I'm trying to I not to die somewhere. as little as possible. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I've got two healing. buckets of milk left. Yes. Yeah, in the dark. Thank you. Heck yeah, that Oh, he's camping me. me. No this problem. wither seems determined to get that me. That saves you. I'm running out of these already, though. Because we had to use them so much. Is he going into Dasha's mind more? Shit. I think it's it's focused I'm on me. Die. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Oh, I still I've... just set my spawn there. I got some good hits on it. I got a lot of hits. Oh shit, I might die. Okay, healing, healing, healing. Oh, I popped okay, a totem. I have not popped a totem this is my yet. This the, is totems my last are, totem. the totems are one of the most helpful things. Yeah, definitely. Because, mm. because oh, they act hello, as a mate. Mate as well. When they oh, I got some hits there, but... Oh shit. Oh, Wait, what effect is oh. the hardest part of the fight? Like... 
is actually the hardest part of the fight. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's he's melee only. This is oh, the easier shit. part. Hmm. Rip those diamonds, because I'm sure those are gone now. I just went through. Get those crits, get those crits, get those crits, and we've done it. We've yes, done it. good job. Good job. Fuck, right. I nearly died there. Well, that was a lot oh, less did you get... Look at it spazzing. Uh, where's the wood? Okay, here's your other star, so... Alright, perfect. So this actually worked. This was a lot less traumatic than the last Wither Saga that he went through in the night play <laughs> I with still have PTSD. That's one female Judd, and the other Judd can't handle it. <laughs> oh, and I just popped my last totem. That's fun. But, uh, anyways, yeah, I'll come back to when we're actually going to be able to do stuff with the beacons. So, yeah, fun times. So I feel like, uh... The last clips were kind of hectic because that's because we're telling the wither. But uh, now I actually have a chance to show you some of the things that have happened. So, first of all, everything has been moved. And I don't think I showed that in the first episode or in like the last episode. Everything is moved, so this town hall could be built. Which uh, Jarden built this. This is the town hall, which is where all the enchantment stuff has been moved. Anvil's enchantment room, all that sort of stuff. And there's I think a community sleeping area. I had missed this at first, but there's like a whole community sleeping area with a jukebox down here. Is there anything in it? Oh, shoot. There is. Oh, that's the disgusting one, though. Oh, and I just got a trophy. But, uh... Yeah, there's that. And, uh, Dasha finished her house, which is looking really nice. And then there's Bunkatron's house. And then there's this whole community center here. And I did make two beacons. From, killed two withers. Um, and I said, Community Beacon, you're welcome, because I, killing the Wither is not an easy task in this world, and we had to disable, we actually had to download the world from the realm, and do this on a separate world, and with tile drops turned off, because the game would be too way too laggy otherwise to kill the two Withers together. I mean, I even had enough trouble with that on my PC, and I'm doing this on the PS4 now, so it could be a lot worse. But, uh... Yeah, I'll just show you, I guess I'll just cut, and I'll just show you briefly what I've done at uh, the main, or little base there in the mountains. Well, first of all, I've finished the flatlands completely, so this whole area is now flat. I mined out all the stone and replaced it with grass. I also made, like, this little wall to, key it, you know, how it was, like, just a random cutoff here where all the mountains were. I built a little wall here. So that, uh, looks, I guess, it doesn't look as bad. It looks a little more natural now, you know? And then here's our Johnny, which he seems to want to kill that chicken. And then here's my base. I've done a little bit more to it, which I want to do more to it with this, because I want to hopefully finish it in this episode. But, uh, I have the whole base here, and I have the whole flooring made out of obsidian, which, believe me, took forever to do. And then here we have, well, it's just like the whole thing's going down, which I honestly, I don't really like it. I might be able to modify it at a later point, because I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do for this yet. I don't have that many plans. But otherwise, and there's the chorus fruit that I planted over there, and I think there's a space adorable hose flattening over there so he could build his house. And there's a bunch of vindicators around that I want to hopefully turn into Johnny's at some point, so I'm, not, I'm going to avoid killing them. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, I think that's everything that has been caught up to speed at this point. So I'll cut to when I'm I'm probably going to build a beacon in that base there, because there's other stuff I need to do with it. So, yeah, that's it for now. Well, okay, so I am working on the beacon that I plan on building for my base, which I really... I have somewhat of an idea of what I'm going to do here, but I need all of this mountain completely... At least where the end stone is, I want I need to be completely mined up. I'm gonna make like several levels, if you will, that go down. But uh, as you can see, I ha I lack the resources to make a full level four beacon. Which for now I'm just going to use the haste effect, even though now that I think about it, it probably won't work well or at all anyway, because this is on a freaking realm and efficiency is terrible on realms. But you know what? I want a level four beacon regardless. So um, what the, the fuck? Okay. 
because regardless, even if the haste doesn't work, I want to have a level 4 beacon for this anyway, for like the speed effect, so it'll still be worthwhile anyway for me to get the resources to finish the building this beacon. So what I have proposed is a mining trip in which I will record and hopefully try and talk. Now there is a lot of pillagers around here, because there was a raid that was started around here, but it expired because no one cared enough to fight it. Which I say is a good thing, because I actually... One of my goals is to build an army of Johnnies. You already have one Johnny, which I think I already showed. Either earlier in this video or the... Or episode 2. I'm not 100% sure. But I want to build an army of Johnnies. I need to think, where am I going to mine? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going out in new terrain, because I don't really know... I'd say ores are a lot easier to find in new terrain... I'm going to try not explore over in that area much, because I think Adorable Ho said he wanted to try and preserve that area if possible, which I don't know how well that's going to work anyway. But I'll just try and ex avoid exploring in that area at least a whole awful lot. But uh, this, yeah, this is a Mega Taiga. These are not good for finding caves and whatnot. Wait, actually, there's a ravine here. Let's see what's in here. Uh, anything of use. I, I just need iron, gold... Emerald, stuff like that. I do have a lot of diamonds I could use, but I don't want to waste my diamonds on a beacon right now. Especially because diamonds are kind of valuable on here. Oh, there is quite a bit of iron in this cave, so... Or, like, it's a ravine, so yeah, I will definitely do that. And I also, I did finally name my tools, just in case someone does kill me. We'll be able to... Well, I'll be able to find my tools and armor and stuff easier. I just kind of... I can't think of any original names, and there's nothing really special about this SMP at all. I mean, with um, Night Blazers, we were settling in a snow biome, so I kind of tried to give my stuff ice or winter-themed names, but this is just kind of a regular thing. So I just... I didn't... Because I'm on a PlayStation on this right now, anyway. So, but using the color-coding thing's kind of annoying, so I kind of just didn't color-code a lot of stuff. I named this... L Hat version 2, because I just named a lot of stuff V2, because I just copied the name that was on my survival role. I just named that my Elytra. And I did give the shoes an original name, because I just thought that was kind of amusing when I did it. Um, and then I have the bow, because, yeah, what a gr original name, I know. Then I have Polaris version 2, which is the name of my sword on my survival world. I have Mining Thing version 2, which that's not how it's color-coded on my survival world, but again, color-coding things on consoles is a pain in the ass. And I have Zap version 2, which that's kind of... It's not exactly how I did it on my survival world, but I forgot, so... There's that. And I just named this the Fortuner, which this is entirely new. Because I don't even think... I think I just have... No, I have... Well, this is normally named Silky Thing, but I just named it Miney Thing for this case, because I really only use this for fortuning ores, and that's it. And it's nighttime, so I should probably sleep. But... When I first made my Mega Beacons and stuff, or just my Beacons in general on my Survival World, this was like before 1.17. But now it, that it is 1.17, I can actually fortune iron and gold and stuff. This should make my job a little bit easier. I almost have a complete level 3 Beacon already. So that's a good thing. So it, that's already from just random resources I've collected on this world thus far. And I, I might be honest, I really haven't even mined that much on this world. Well, I have mined for, like, diamonds and stuff, but in general, compared to, like, my survival world, I have not done a lot of mining. So I think that goes to show that being able to fortune iron and stuff is quite helpful in getting the stuff for like a be for, like, a beacon. Look at me go. I'm not using torches while mining. Oh, shit, there's another ravine. Um... I'll explore that at a later time. Let me just make sure I get all the iron in here. I was not expecting to hit a major cave system from this ravine. I'm trying to think. I think you need two and two stacks and 36 blocks to make a full level 4 beacon, which I'm definitely far off of, so I might need to do quite a bit of mining. And I would eventually like to use it to be all world kind of like how my mega beacon is and my survival world but right now that's very far-fetched so we don't really have a villager system set up on here i'm hoping that at least because i have we have villagers i think that's the common knowledge at this point that we have villagers in our little base here 
But I, I don't really want to set it up. I'm kind of just... I don't feel like it. I'm just kind of hoping either Jarden or Adorable Ho will set up the villagers and stuff. Because I don't... I just don't feel like doing it, if I'm being completely honest. And I just have other stuff I'd like to focus on for the time being. I'm not going to bother with the coal for now, because I can always just come back. And coal is so common anyway, it doesn't really matter. But I think we got everything out in that main ravine there. And these guys are not too much of a hassle for me. So we're going to go in and continue to check... Hoping that there's iron, which I don't think at this point gold spawns. But we already have a stack and a half of iron, which equates to probably like 10 blocks. So I would say that it is pretty good already. There's just, okay, yeah, there's, oh, there's quite a bit of iron. Well, this will take a lot of exploring, probably. And I'm just fortuning it out right now because I already have the, the fortuning pickaxe on me. There's no point in just silk touching the ores and then having to silk and uh, having to fortune them out again at a later date so for now I'm just using the fortune pick just because I find it easier I mean, I mean it might take up more inventory space but right now I need a rough estimate of, like exactly how many blocks I'll get from my, how many of the ores I have and I do have my bow on me so you guys are going to get taken out which this could be a better bow I guess I think a power 5 bow would instantly kill a zombie and you need to stay still you guys just keep coming. Okay, this is... I guess this, like, kind of intercepts with 1.17 terrain, because I just saw a glow lichen over there. Yeah, so... I'm. Th that's kind of weird. Oh, you know what, though? I think this might be a cutoff here. Because, see, look how that looks. Yeah, that's 100% a cutout. So, I think, like, the old terrain ends here, the console terrain ends here. Because, yeah, this is definitely 1.17. And then 1.17 starts here, which I knew we were close to the border. I just didn't expect to see that so suddenly. So I got all that. So let me just see mine around here. And I think, in, in my opinion, I think ores are easier to find on 1.17. They're like a slightly more common, at least. Oh, there's more cave over here, it looks like. Let me just look over here briefly. Which now we're definitely at the level where gold can spawn, although gold is kind of difficult to find as I find some, compared to, like, iron. Oh, what? Oh, these goddamn zombies always sneak up on me. And compared to, like, other things, yeah, it's kind of difficult to find. And I would like to use the gold at some point. And the iron for, like, maybe other stuff. Like, if we did, like, a railway project, or we needed a lot of hoppers for, like, an automatic farm or something. And that would be needed, but, uh... Oh, we dropped an iron ingot. That'll actually come handy ever so slightly. But yeah, just having it be a bunch of emeralds, I think, is the mo is the best way of doing a beacon. Because doing that, you're basically... Because iron and gold and stuff, everything else, like the diamonds and even netherite, if anyone actually did that, which I don't think any sane person would, unless it's like for a joke or something. But... I think everything else has a use. Like, iron definitely is quite a useful thing, even late game, because you need iron for, like, a lot of, like, technical stuff. And then gold, you can make golden apples and stuff, which will come handy if we're going to set up a villager farm kind of thing, which we need to do. I, 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 I want to try and encourage someone else to do it, because I'm too lazy to do it myself with already established, but uh, don't know how that's going to work out yet. I want to... Again, set up a villagers where we just have disposable diamond armor on here, especially if fortune, not fortune, efficiency doesn't work well on here. It doesn't matter if it's like just efficiency one or two, because otherwise it doesn't work well anyway. And I think it's actually quicker to use non, at least stuff with not that high of efficiency level than using efficiency five, st even still. So I just find that a little odd that realms are that bad for that. But it's just kind of annoying. Because I know it's just... I guess, like, the the realms can't keep up with how fast you're breaking blocks, even though it's literally built into the game that you can mine stuff that fast. It makes no sense to me, but... I guess that's bedrock for you. Let me get rid of that. We're already at diamond level. I didn't even realize that. Well, I guess if we find diamonds, that will be... 
welcomed as well, even though I don't really need them. But if we're gonna... I don't really know what the deal with the shops is. Oh, and it's thunderstorming out, and that's kind of an annoying noise that I don't want to hear, so I'm going to sleep. But I'm not sure what the deal is with the shops on here, because there was definitely a lot of talk of opening shops up on this SMP, which I don't know if we're going to do that still. Um, because no one has really done it. I know uh, Jarden did it on his... Oh, this is where we were last time. Oh well, I guess we explored all of that. Because he set up a shop on the last SMP that was not used by anyone. But I would think if there was a shop set up now, that it would get actually get used, so... And again, I'm not really sure. I'm not good when it comes to building stuff like that, so I'm kind of hoping someone else does that. I don't know, I, I would say Jarden could do it again, but I really don't know what he has planned on here. Because he seems, he's also fairly focused on the lore, which at this point I've kind of decided I'm probably not going to do much of it or at all on, on my channel. Because I'm, I'm probably going to mostly focus on the gameplay aspect of this SMP on my channel anyway. So, I mean, it'll give you something to watch on his channel, a reason to watch his channel, although I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that everyone that watches this, or it's mostly everyone that watches this, uh, watches Jarden's channel anyway, so I don't really think I need to remind you of that. But still interesting, and I think important to say nonetheless. I don't know why I'm mining copper, you can't make... My inventory is jack full. You can't even make... Do I even have a shulker box on me? Oh, I do. Okay, that's good. Actually, it might be full. That's the, can, that's the case. God damn it, it is full. Because I think I have... I have two on me. They're both full. So that's annoying. I'll have to return to the surface. And I don't know why I have that. That's a gross-looking block. But let's see what we got here. We got 37 raw gold, which I think that will equate to... I can't do the math in my head now that I think about it. That'll equate to four gold blocks. I think this is like probably like 16, 17 iron blocks. I'm just doing rough math in my head. But yeah, still definitely lots of money needs to be done. Um, I might do the rest of that off camera because there's only so much I could talk. And, yeah, this is not really... I don't think this is an, a, a too appropriate of a series to do something like that on. It's like more something I can do on, like, on my survival world, which I don't really have any interest in recording right now. Nor have I really done much on it anyway. So I guess that will be... More of that will be done at a later date. But, yeah, I guess I'll just cut to when I actually have everything set up on the beacon. I think I've already... I think I've rambled on enough already, so... Yeah, that'll do it for now. Alright, well, I've done quite a bit since the last recording. I, should, I did want to record more in between when I actually did do certain things, but I was in a position where I wasn't able to record, but I was able just to do other stuff. But uh, I've been mining out this whole area underneath my where my base is going to be, because there's going to be ser uh, several levels to it, if you will. So this part's probably going to take a while, though I think I have like a good chunk of it done at this point. The only reason I haven't mined that area is so I have a place to get um, down here from. Although not that this is open, I really don't think it matters anyway, now that I really look at it. But uh, I did get the, the level 4 beacon set up, and I'm going to be... And I'm actually shocked of actually the haste 2 effects actually being somewhat useful, I would say. So I, I'm still glad I did it. But yeah, here's level 4 beacon. It's a monstrosity right now, because... Obviously, I don't have enough of each ore to make it just be one specific thing. Obviously, I want to have enough emeralds at some point to make it a complete emerald beacon, because that's just the best way of doing it, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I'm just right now I'm just flattening this whole area, which no one really wants to watch me do that. And I already ha did kind of like a talking session on this video, so I think I'm going to... Oh, I guess I'm getting close to something. Actually, yeah, I blow up. You'll actually be doing me a favor there. That's the one thing when time creepers are actually being useful. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just cut to when I have the rest of this mined out and maybe I start like adding floors and stuff to this. So here's the base so far. I can see I've done quite a bit since the last recording. Now this is my third take trying to take this one because I keep messing it up. But I'm just going to make this brief. 
I mined all the mountain out, which you can see I've done quite a bit since the last time, and I replaced all the insides with endstone. And I have quite ambitious plans for this, as you can see, because I'm going to have several floors of this, and it's going to be four blocks high per floor, and each floor is going to serve its own purpose. Now I'm going to have to mine another end city, because I don't have enough of this purple block, because it's a pain to get, because it's to craft it, you need four popped chorus fruit, and chorus fruit is such a pain to get. So I think it'd just be easier. It'd be easier just to mine another end city. So yeah, so that's I'm gonna have to do that off camera because I already recorded myself mining an end city. So that's just I don't want to be redundant here. And yeah, I'm each floor is going to serve its own purpose. I guess I'll get into that when I actually make it. But for now, that's it. I'll cut when I have more progress done. Well, it has been a few days, and I would like to think that I've. I'm getting close to finishing my base now. So as you can see, I have this all out here. Now I have a bunch of end rods. I never did mine another end city. I just mined a lot of chorus fruit and turned that into popped chorus fruit. And then I used that to make a lot of end rods. And I used that to finish making, I think it's purple block. I think that's what it's called. I have some on Yeah, it's purple block. But uh, this definitely still needs a lot of work. But I have the bare basics of it down right now. So this is the first floor that I'm just going to use for storage, which probably be maybe block storage, the first floor. And then I have, well, I'm working on this right now, but this will be just another storage floor that will have other stuff, maybe like mob drops, other stuff. I'm not really sure. I still need to add item frames and really actually sort this out. And I'm in desperate need of a storage system now because if you look at the chests, like in that area over there, they're getting out of hand really quick. Yeah, I already showed you that. And then this floor is the villager floor, I guess. Um, this floor, I have no idea what I'm going to do in here yet. This is just a floor that exists. And then down here, which I'm still... Oh, it looks like they, those despawned. And uh, it's kind of a problem. There's a lot of mobs down here. But uh, anyway, this is going to be used for, like, mobs and stuff. Like, not like... Not like mob mobs but like and that floor down there is going to be used for like the house cows stuff like that there might be other stuff i do down there like maybe they have farms i really don't know yet but uh this is definitely still work in progress but by the time i record the next episode i should have more of this done i have no idea what i'm going to do for the fourth episode if i'm being honest although stuff is Big things are happening in the lore soon, which you have to watch Jarden's video for that. So, by the way, I, I probably won't do much lore at all on here. Like, well, I might do stuff that pertains to the lore, that makes sense. But, like, the main lore stuff itself will not be on my channel, probably at all. Um, but if you want to watch, like, anything lore-related, you're going to have to watch Jarden's videos on this. Because I think he said at this point, going forward, all of his videos for this are going to be lore-related only. So... And I'm just going to be doing survival stuff, I think. So I might be the only one doing that. I don't really know what the deal is with that yet. But, yeah, watch this stuff if you want lore stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode because I kind of just want to release this because at this point everyone else has released a bunch of content that kind of reveals what happened anyway. And I kind of just want to get this out because it's been like a few weeks at this point, I think. So I kind of just want to have this out. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of episode